couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to yet another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which I wanna share with you the single most important thing, in my opinion, that you can add right now to your practicing routine that will virtually skyrocket your skills in no time. And I'm talking about transcription, to sit down and transcribe music, and not just guitar music, any music, piano music, saxophone music, anything. Okay? And the farther away from guitar music it is, the better you'll get. Because if you transcribe music, you're not only training your ears, which is, in my opinion, I maintain that ear training is the single most important thing that a musician should practice, okay? because that will influence everything else and make the learning so much easier. You're also tying your ears to the fretboard and to your hands. You're learning how to listen visually on the fretboard while you transcribe. And um, if you only sit and learn by tab or sheet music or chord sheets, then you're just uh, practicing a dry routine. You're not operating your ears uh, to the fullest extent of ear training. You're you're almost um, not operating your ears at all because you're just copying something that someone else wrote down. You have to find the music yourself. And when you transcribe, you're searching for the music, you're creating connections, you're creating uh, associations between chords and chord relations and melodies. And if you're transcribing fingerstyle pieces, hard as it may be, you're training your hands to listen, you're listening through your hands and you're listening through your eyes because you're looking at the fretboard and you start to hear the relations between the frets. It might sound crazy, but it's called synesthesia. Okay, it's it's a word. Okay, look it up. It's it's um it's mixing the senses, and that's what ear training gives you. It's it gives you a sort of synesthesia. You feel the sound. You feel the distances, kind of like a trombone player. And that's a crazy uh, example, I know, but a trombone player, if you think about it, he slides the slide on the instrument. He doesn't have frets, he doesn't have, he or she, they don't have, uh, they don't have markings, they have to feel the distance, they have to land the slide exactly at the right place, at the right position. Same goes for fretless instruments like uh, double bass or a violin. Um, it's, uh, we're, we have it easy because we have frets. We have those steel frets that, that show us where to put our fingers. And um, that kind of makes us lazy. So to compensate for our laziness as guitar players, we have to transcribe. We have to listen to the music and transcribe it. And again, if you only transcribe guitar music, then you're not transcribing and using your superpower, your ear training superpower to the fullest extent because the guitar has only several approaches to music. The guitar is a limited instrument in a way because um, it's a mathematical instrument and it's, all, it's almost always the same mathematical uh, relations. And if you transcribe piano music, then you have to listen differently. And if you transcribe saxophone music or trombone music, then you have to listen differently. If you transcribe, uh, say, a double bass solo, you have to recalculate it to fit the guitar. And you have to think, you have to think with your ears. And that's something that you don't get when you only learn fixed things, when you learn tabs, when you learn sheet music, when you learn chord sheets, okay? You're, you're not training yourself as a musician to be the best musician that you can be. And the best, fastest, and most enjoyable way to do it is via transcription. It's by transcribing. And if you transcribe the music that you love, then you're training your ears and your hands and your technique and your synesthesia by, uh, by having fun. You're not, you, don't, you don't even feel like you're practicing. So that's the single most important thing that you can do, in my opinion, to transcribe something every day, be it a lick, a chord progression, a short finger style passage, anything. Just transcribe something every day. It doesn't have to be a full piece. Just transcribe 10 seconds of music every day, and you'll see that it won't be long before you, you discover that... 
that you that you feel the instrument differently. You'll fill the instrument with your ears. You, you'll see what I'm talking about uh, when you start transcribing. And uh, if you want help with that, I have the courses. I have the ear training course uh, to go along and teach you how to train your ears. So go to lickandrev.com slash courses. Um, so uh, go check it out. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next lesson. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? There are a ton of free lessons here for guitar players on every level. Bye for now. Enjoy.